Welcome back to the Naked Gardener channel. I'm Sydney and this is Tori. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a DIY eggmobile that we got from Justin Rose Chicksaw. The chickens have outgrown the brooder and they are ready, over ready to get out on the grass. We're gonna do a modified chickshaw bill from Justin Rose and see how we can put 30 chickens into this eggmobile. So let's get growing. Kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be doing. We're going to kind of modify this uh, chick shawl because it seemed like it could be a lot more stable. I've seen a lot of issues with the legs. So during this, when we build the base of the uh, chick shawl, uh, we're going to be putting down the fabric mesh. We'll put down the fabric mesh and start building it up and we're gonna to try to make it all as much one piece along with some pocket screws. Are the pocket screws something that's modified on the plan? Uh, but the pocket screws and the lap joints are part of the modifications of this chick shawl because with the lap, lap joints and the pocket screws, it's gonna make it a lot sturdier. That way when you're moving it so many times a, a week, year it's going to hold up to the multiple movements that we're going to be using this uh, chick shop mobile another thing that we're modifying on this is the width and the length of it uh, because we have 30 uh, chickens the thing about this we're making it a lot bigger uh, to hold 30 egg layer chickens because uh, I believe from the original chick shawl, I think you only could do up to 16, maybe 20. And so this one is going to be a five foot by six foot. Instead of three nesting box, it's going to have probably anywhere from four to five nesting box, depending on how we incorporate the design on this. So right here is where we're going to do the lap joint for the horizontal uh, brace. And what a lap joint is, we're going to take most of this out about halfway and we're going to do another part that goes right on there. So it's going to be a smooth finish and making a strong bond right there. So what are you marking out? So right now, I just did the base for the uh, hardware cloth to go on here. We, can't, we couldn't find the one inch by one inch unless we ordered it through Amazon and I wasn't gonna do that. So we did the half inch uh, fabric cloth. Uh, hopefully the poop will still go Not through Not fabric here. cloth. It is fabric cloth. I thought it was hardware cloth. Hardware cloth, fabric cloth is still the same thing. But it's more secure. Yeah, it's, it'll also still, I mean, it adds a little bit more security, but nothing is ever 100% per uh, predator proof, but anything you can help deter the uh, predators will be beneficial. This is the bottom side of it. You got your, the wheels will be on this side. This is the kickstand. This will be a lot sturdier besides just adding a 
17 inch or little piece right there and adding all these uh, metal brackets that they had to secure it with these pocket holes and these lap joints would definitely be a lot more sturdy and cheaper than buying additional brackets and stuff like that. We're gonna put these cross braces on. So we'll have something to secure these, uh, the fabric cloth on there, hardware cloth. Justin Rhodes plan, he did the wheels and the uh, stand here towards the end. Since we had incorporated this part of the leg with this, we're going to go ahead and install the wheel. I'm going to put it about halfway, see how this turns out. Can I give you some feedback on something I'm thinking? Huh. Uh, I'm a lot shorter than you are, and it's going to take me, like, if that wheel isn't back a little bit further, it's going to take me lifting a lot higher to get it to move. So you want the wheel back? I want it back further. Okay. Well, the, with these uh, conduit straps, I don't know. I'm not liking that. Are you questioning the stability or? Yeah. We'll probably have to get some different straps or something. Will those work for now? Yeah. It'll be decent for now. We'll just kind of see how it holds up. Uh-huh. Cause see how it this I might have to do some better straps than that. But at least I know now. Is it turning on purpose? What is? It seems like this is slanted. Yeah, it's because there's no Oh, there's not a, a, a another part right here. Oh, I don't to like keep that. It, yeah. It it would have made more sense if it was one of those that had screws on both sides. Yeah. So I didn't like the way that uh, those EMT straps were going to hold on there. And I didn't want to wait till we got uh, find out at the end of this build that it didn't work. So what I came up with a solution, I forgot I had these mortise bits. And so I just what I did was I put a seven eighth bit on that one. I took the straps off and I went halfway down onto the the stud here and i was able to drill through here and just put the uh, rod through there and secured it and it looks like it's going to be a lot better than the straps so we're going to continue to do it on this side and i'm going to show you how we came up with that idea So it's day two, uh, towards the end of the evening yesterday, we decided to go inside so we can get more lighting and, and everything 
Now we're outside because it's a lot cooler outside than it is inside into the shop. I cut down the uh, legs of the uh, chick shawl because uh, I didn't like how it looked where it's tilted too high. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put the side braces on and then we're going to start uh, forming up the doors for the front end of the doors for the chickens to go in and out. Then after that, uh, we're going to form up the nesting box on the back end of this. Once we get everything all formed up, we're going to start wrapping the chick shawl with the hardware cloth. And then we're going to be putting the structure for the roof uh, frame on here. And then we're going to put the roof panel on top of that. What part is going to be modified? that you're about to do? Uh, a lot of this is going to be modified for the simple fact that I have the main trusses going uh, in parallel with the uh, side walls and the roosting bars going perpendicular uh, with the uh, trusses. What was the reason that you did that? Well, if we wouldn't have did it that way, we wouldn't have been able to put the uh, wheel, even though the wheels were a last reconfiguration of it, but it made better sense to do it this way. It's less bracing that we will have to do. It seems like it is also a better support. Yeah, because you, if you, let's say they're in the chick shawl, you would rather have them face, in my opinion, I would rather be facing forward or backwards on uh, facing where I was going. Consider it's going sideways and getting tilted up sideways that way. Now you're uh, modifying it with doing the nesting box building out from it, right? Correct. And that just gives them more complete space all inside because with the roosting bars right here, we got six feet wide and three of them. And I believe you want to give them like a, a foot space on there. And we got, what, 29 of them? Yeah. And I'll probably put another one right here that should give them plenty enough. Plus, with the roosting box, we'll have, instead of on his design, he had two nesting box. And we will should be able to get four to five nesting box uh, right here. So now we're going to start installing and configuring the nesting boxes. Uh, we just basically did this on the fly. Like I said, we did this uh, coming out so the chickens can have more room in there. Uh, for what I probably put like a little nesting bar going across here. Don't know yet, but now we're just going to secure this and get it all squared away. And then we're going to wrap the, the outside of the chick shawl with the hardware cloth. Now, instead of hammering and, and do, using the staples, <laughs> That took a lot of time and it was very tedious. So we went to the big box stores and bought a staple gun. Uh, so that way it will be a pneumatic staple gun. So it'll be a lot faster when we're installing the uh, hardware fabric. So it's day three, and we decided just gonna break it out into sections, work a normal job. So we're just gonna be wrapping the Eggmobile with the roof panel, and then tomorrow we'll finish up the project, hopefully. So right now, we're going to cut it out to, to the correct length, uh, secure it to the Eggmobile, and then finish the backside. We're at day four of the chick shawl build. Uh, all we really have to do left is build the frame for the roof, put the roof panel on, add the door, and put the cover for the nesting box, and we should be done. You want After we do all this, you want to just put the birds in here? Uh, I would love that because they're about to become little chicken nuggets. Now, on the what I decided to do, because I saw a lot of people having issues 
with the, having a pole out here and the chickens resting on that and pooping on it. So that was one reason why we're not going to do, well, right now, I don't think we're going to do, we're just going to add a, uh, a latch on both sides and add a chain to pull it. And so that way we can take it off and on uh, when we're not in use. But, and then uh, also on here, we did a, and we're going to do a, about a six, to, we're going to have an overhang right here. So that way when it does rain, if the, if the chickens are right on this side, it kind of protects them a little bit. So we finally got this completed. Now we're just going to wait for graduation day for our chickens and our turkeys. But all in all, it's a great, nice little setup. Uh, be able to open that. We'll be able to put a pole right up in here to uh, keep it open if we have to change anything. We got these little extra brackets, braces to keep it from twisting and possibly hanging uh, any feeder or waterers. And then we got the little opening right here so the chickens can go in and out. So I'm, I'm pretty good with this. I know Mrs. Nicky Gardner is happy to finally get the chickens in here. Now we just have to set up our Gallagher electric fence. See how that goes. Our first time doing it. If you want to see that video, make sure you tune in. So I hope you like this video. If so, make sure you give us a thumbs up. It really helps our channel out. Uh, if you're new to the channel and would like to be part of our family, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now, if you want to see other videos that we do DIY around the homestead, we'll put a playlist on the side for you to follow along. Until the next video, when let's I'm grow together. Waiting.